I mean, it could very well just be another collected uh, conjuring. Um... What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. What's going on everybody and welcome to another gameplay video. Just as a quick reminder before we jump into today's interesting list, uh, I just wanted to throw out there again, challenge week is postponed until next week. Uh, I did take Monday off just because I had off from work and I figured, you know what, I'm going to enjoy that day. Uh, and so I did. I had a great time. Uh, and Friday, I'm actually going to be heading out of town. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys were all aware. So I'm trying to make sure we remind you throughout. But uh, very excited to try today's deck. It's a very interesting one based around a card that I really love, which is Collected Conjuring. Uh, sorcery, four mana, exile the top six cards of your library. You can cast up to two of the sorcery spells with mana value three or less from among them without paying their mana costs. Put the exile cards not cast this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. I think it's a really interesting card. I don't know that it's good, and we're going to try and test that theory today with a deck that I did not create. This is by Pile of Cards. I uh, found it on Aetherhub, and I really liked it. So we're going to try this one out. Um, the idea being that we get something like Solve the Equation, which allows us to go search up Mizzix's Mastery, which then sh th should theoretically allow us to play uh, basically all the instants and sorceries we had in our graveyard, including things like Royal Eruption, which can deal three to the opponent, uh, deal two to the opponent with Pillar of Flame, deal three to the opponent with Skewer the Critics, and basically just chain a lot of that. Uh, now, does it work? I don't know. I haven't had good luck with it so far, but we're going to give it a shot. This does obviously deal with creatures pretty well. I mean, the Pillar, the Royal Eruption, uh, Anger of the Gods is in here, and we can actually copy it with things like Dual Strike. So, you know, there's some stuff that we can do. We also get a little bit of Treasure Token with the uh, Seize the Spoils to hopefully build up that mana so we can overload the Mizzix Mastery uh, theoretically a little bit sooner. But all that to say, I'm really intrigued. I think this is going to be an interesting list. I don't have super high hopes, but I did want to give this a shot because, again, Collected Conjuring is a very cool card, in my opinion. Uh, and so we're going to send this through three games. We're going to see how it goes. Just best of one historic ladder. And we'll uh, we'll see if we can get a win and make this one work. But regardless, guys, I hope you enjoy. Please make sure to leave a like or subscribe if you're not already. That really does mean a lot. Commenting down below does a lot for us as well, especially being a small time YouTube channel. Uh, it really does mean a lot. So if you enjoy enjoy it please share do anything uh we'd really really appreciate it but without further ado guys let's go ahead and jump into these games all right guys here we are for game number one and honestly this is a pretty solid keep in my opinion uh we've got the seize the spoils we also have the dual strike and a lot of the big payoffs are already in our hands so we're gonna give this one a shot we'll see how it goes Hopefully we can get some burn action uh, to deal with that. We are going to lead on the island. That just allows us to Sulphur Falls uh, on the following two turns, which means we'll have all the mana we need to do whatever we need. Uh, and we'll pr most likely just... Um, uh, actually, that changes things. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, Royal Eruption the elvish war that that card is way too good it's gonna it's gonna really really take us out if we don't do anything about it so i feel like we just kind of have to do that uh land or elf might have been a better option now but that's okay uh they did get another war master which is a little scary but we'll do the best we can uh i think the play is to seize the spoils unless we want to beacon bolt uh but I think it is these the spoils. This just ensures that we're gonna gain uh, that that extra. Let's let's throw you back. This just guarantees that we're gonna get that fourth mana, um, which we can then collected conjuring. Very interesting card, collected conjuring. We're kind of going up the collected company up against collected company, which is like its counterpart. Uh, and unfortunately, not doing super well. But that's okay. <laughs> Uh, we actually get a really, really, really good turn off right now, uh, thanks to Anger of the Gods. So the play is absolutely to just Anger, I believe. I don't think there's any reason not to. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We also can follow that up with a Mizzix Mastery at some point if we would like. And the question becomes, do we want to go ahead and dual strike uh, for Tell? And I think the answer is yes, solely because we do have the extra mana next turn. Which means we can dual strike collected conjuring, uh, or no, excuse me, yeah, dual strike collected conjuring. The I was making sure that the mana cost was correct, mana value four or less, uh, and so we could 
we could do a lot uh, next turn. So let's let's give this a shot. Uh, I mean, it's working. We got what we needed to get, so let's give it a shot. Double collected conjuring. All right. Hopefully, we can get some good stuff. Uh, let's solve the equation and let's skewer the critics. We're gonna skewer here to get this realm walker out. Uh, because we just don't want that to be a thing. Um, and then what do we want to search? Uh, I think it's... I mean, it could very well just be another collected uh, conjuring. Um, or a dual strike, both of which are very, very good. Um, I'm actually going to take the dual strike. That might be wrong, uh, but I think that we can kind of make that one work pretty well. Oh, wow. Okay, the opponent just gave up. All right, uh, we did it, yay. <laughs> that was weird, I don't think they should have given up quite yet, but anyway, that's game one, we did it. Let's go ahead and jump into game two. All right guys, here we are for game number two, and uh, this isn't an amazing hand by any means, uh, but it does have a little bit of early game interaction and we can dual strike early as well, so I'm gonna try and keep, I think we're gonna fetch up a, uh, ooh. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and fetch up an island here. That just allows us to play the beacon bolt when we need to. Um, and then it also, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, it also allows us to dual strike here later on. Um, all right, let's do this. Now the question becomes, do we just want a royal eruption now and take care of the soul warden? Um, hmm. I'm actually gonna say no. Uh, and maybe this is wrong, I'm not 100% sure. We need another red source to really make this worth it, but the idea being that we could double up on Royal Eruption. Ooh, and that's a much better... Uh, oh, that's so scary. Okay. Um, oh, perfect. Oh, you amazing, amazing deck you. All right, let's do this. Uh, and we are gonna Royal Eruption, and we're gonna take out you and you. Um, this just gets rid of two really nice little triggers for them. Uh, obviously still not great for us, but ideally we really want to build up this beacon bolt so we can get rid of one of these two. Um, oh, and there's a collected conjuring, so maybe we just do that. I think we do. I think we're just going to collect a conjuring. Let's see what we can get. All right. Uh, beacon bolt is six right now. I mean, Royal Eruption, can we cast it with Kicker? Cancel. Nope, that doesn't work. I thought I'd try, just in case, you never know. Uh, steal it here. I don't know if this actually works or not, so we're, we're trying some stuff here. All right, and that gets rid of that. All right, so we probably should have gotten rid of the angel, but we do have the beacon bolt to kind of deal with it, so I'm not as worried about that. That's terrifying. Um, ugh, okay, uh, well. I really wish we could deal with... No, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, no, bad. Bad call, bad call. Uh, let's throw you back. Uh, I'm actually going to throw... Hmm, I think it's skewer. As good as Skewer is, I just don't think that that's the, the play right now. Um, let's do this. We're going to get rid of the Righteous Valkyrie. Uh, and then we have Pillar of Flame up for any minimal thing that comes down, but chances are it's not going to be minimal and we're just going to die. <laughs> uh, we do have Jumpstart with the Beacon Bolt, though, so, I mean, there's that. All right. Um... So now we are just dead though, right? Let's do this. We're gonna target you, get rid of you. We're gonna test a theory since we're probably gonna lose anyway. We're gonna test this theory. Yeah, it doesn't work. Thought I'd try it because it does exile. I just wanted to make sure that that interaction didn't work. But regardless, we're dead. That's fine. Uh, I think we might have, we could have played that slightly better, but that's okay. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's jump into game three. We'll see if we can get uh, a two and one record. I, I have high hopes. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Uh, and this is an interesting hand. I do think we try it. Um, hmm. All right, yeah, let's give this a shot. We're gonna get, we're, we're just gonna try. 
It may not work, and that is perfectly fine, but we are going to give this a shot and see what we can do. Uh, we do have answers for this, which is helpful, um, but chances are they are going to have quite a number of other things to, to worry about. Yeah, that's one of them. All right. Uh, glad we don't have to take some extra damage here, though. So let's do this. We're actually just getting rid of this immediately. <laughs> um, I'm not willing to risk dying to that thing. It gets big very, very quickly. Wow, they've got another one, but no land. Uh, that's very, very helpful, as it turns out. Uh, let's skewer you. Just get rid of that. <laughs> Um, honestly, solve the equation for an Anger of the Gods is going to be pretty pretty awesome at some point here if they just don't have a whole lot to throw back at us. Okay, uh, that's very good. So that actually does get around what we've got currently. Very nice. Soulscar Mage, I like. I like, I like. Uh, okay. Um, so I think the play, uh, we should have played Steam Vents, but that's okay. Uh, let's do this. We're going to get this into the graveyard, um, and we are pulling back. Is it Anger, or is it Collected Conjuring? Uh, it could be quite a bit of different stuff here. Um, this is not instant speed, by the way. Uh, crucially, I'm going to pull Collected Conjuring. Crucially, something to think about here, guys, the Collected Conjuring only hits sorceries, so you may be asking yourself, well, why don't we have any, like, shocks or anything like that? Very good question, but that is why. Uh, it's just not a good idea to do that. And yeah, we should have gotten the Anger of the Gods. That was a mistake, but that's okay. I was thinking, you know what? Let's just try. Let's just try. Um, that's very good. And to be told, I mean, to be honest, we might be able to to just steal <clears throat> an Anger of the Gods off the top anyway, but... Alright. We're just gonna go ahead and collect a Conjuring. We're just gonna keep it simple. Um, and see what they've got. Give me an Anger. We didn't get an Anger. Uh, instead, we did get Pillar, which we're gonna use here, and Beacon Bolt, which we're gonna use here. I think that's probably the best bet. Uh... Hopefully they don't have a, a spell to react, and it looks like they don't, so that's very good. Um, they are splashing white, so something to think about is they could have... Ah, nice. Uh, they could have Luris in the deck. I don't think that that's super likely, but that is a possibility. <clears throat> um, good news here is we do have a Beacon Bolt. We just have to hope they can't kill us this turn, which... Unfortunately, is a possibility with this deck, uh, so we'll see. We can dual cast or dual strike a beacon bolt here, though, and just do like a crap ton of damage to both of these, uh, which seems pretty good. Oh, or we can just anger the gods. I'm gonna do that. Let's get rid of them both. Uh, all right, so, and they just give up. Well, <laughs> okay. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Well, let's go ahead. We'll we'll take a minute to uh, talk through this list. All right, guys. So collected conjuring. What do we think? Well, obviously, uh, in, a, in comparison with its counterpart, collected company uh, or kind of the opposite card, uh, collected company is way better. Let's just be clear. Uh, not only does it hit a wider range of things a little bit more, but just because creatures have a lot more to them, in my opinion. Um, but the the Collected Conjuring is also two color, a little bit more difficult to cast, and only hits sorceries. And sorceries can be very good, but it's sorceries three or less, which means they're probably not going to be amazing. Uh, but all that to say, it's still a really sick card. I like it a lot. Um, and we saw it do okay there. I mean... Truth be told, like the decks that or the the cards that we were running are all very control heavy cards, like just burn focused cards. Uh, and so against a creature deck, you're gonna have a decent shot uh, if, as long as you can stabilize kind of in turn three four range, uh, which we were thankfully able to do for the most part. Uh, obviously lost out to Life Gain, who just was able to continuously throw out those threats, uh, and that's okay. That happens. So I'm not really stressing about that. I actually really like this deck. I thought it was fun. Um, do I think it's really good? 
nowhere near as good as it needs to be in historic but uh i do really like the card i think I, that was my draw i wanted to try out collected conjuring and i'm glad we did i think it's a really fun one uh it's a very relatively cheap deck to build as well a lot of it's just like commons and uncommons so if you're interested want to give it a shot you could certainly flex on some of the cards and and try some different stuff but i really liked it so i hope you guys enjoyed this one thank you so much for watching i really enjoyed putting this video together for you guys uh hopefully we will get some more games play up very very soon i'd really like to because these are like kind of shorter now i'd like to try out more decks uh which does mean we might double up on a day or two but we'll see we'll see or at least push to the weekend but regardless guys thank you so much don't forget to share this out if you enjoyed and i will see you hopefully very soon for another gameplay video